can get you money if you need money. What? I'm not robbing you, lady. Not that it matters, but I'm only a mess like this because I'm helping my mom fix up her home. It's easy to judge someone based on how they look, isn't it? Most of my life, I've been judged by my appearance, my character, or my actions. Bald head. How can people judge you when they don't know you? It really gets you down because you think to yourself, I'd do it for anybody, I'd help anybody. But yet, I'm still judged and they don't know me. If we judged our food the way we judge people, we'd probably never try anything different, would we? People judge people who's big, overweight. Before you judge them, have a think, have they got a problem? Have they got medical problems with themselves? How many times have you gone out yourself and you've thought, look at the state of him or look at the state of her? That's the, how can I say? That's their character, that's the way they want to dress, that's the way they want to be. Some people might say, I wouldn't dress like that. But they might have, that might be their, that's their choice. That's their choice of the way they want to dress, the way they want to live. There's people who I work with now and they're judging me because, because they want to, but they don't know me. They don't honestly know me. You know yourself when you, you don't work, you're a different person. When you're at home, you're a different person. But they want to judge me. Never judged anybody until I get to know them. Right, have a little test. Can you judge me on my appearance now with my bald head, my glasses on, my coat, whatever, my accents? Can you judge me? And tell me what you see. Nobody knows what's behind the face that you're looking at, the problems they've got in their life, the emotions they've got in their life, the things they've got to conquer and get over. So nobody knows anybody and nobody can, should judge anybody if they don't know that person. Get to know that person I'm not, and then you, you can't judge them. It's basically, it's your preference of the person that you get on with. The character, you, you probably like, don't like their character. But don't judge people by the cover. My daughter is terminally ill, but yet I still try and give me character of who I am. Doing these videos helps me to not forget, but put it in the back of my mind just for the time being. But I don't judge anybody. I can't judge anybody if I don't know that person. Like I say, if I didn't, if I judged my food, what I was eating, and sometimes I still do, and sometimes you probably all do, you see something like, oh, I don't like the look of that. But when you try it, it's all right. Not always. I'm judged by, because uh, I do YouTube videos, people judge me. Well, family judge me. But the other side of it as well, when I first come down to Mansfield, Nottingham, I was judged then by my actions, by my bald head. People said they didn't like me. But they didn't know me. And you could say, in a way, Jan was like my protector. Because she used to say, You don't know him. You don't know it. You don't know Dan himself. You don't know what 
what it's like. So I was judged. If you don't like me, that's your choice. If I was going to, I don't know, Turkey, Tenerife, um, Bulgaria, I'd probably choose Turkey or Tenerife. I'm not judging Bulgaria, it's just a choice. I'm not saying oh, what I don't like it there, because I don't know the place. But it's not something what I've heard a lot of people talk about. But I'm not saying I would never go, it's just not my choice. But I'm not judging it. Like I say, my daughter's uh, terminally ill. And if anything happens to her while we're away, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I can't hold back and think to myself, do we go or do we stay here in case something happens? We've just got to deal with that when the time comes. But if I'm over there on holiday, Will I be judged for that? It's a choice I've got to make. So don't judge me on it. Why Why do we? Or is it because we've been brought up that way? We judge people by the cover. It's like my mum used to say. Oh, I don't like the look of that lad. She was judging him. She didn't know him. We all do it, but some people say it as just, we're just saying it as a, oh, I don't like the look of her, or I don't like the look of him. But is it the way we've been brought up to judge people? As soon as you stop judging people and getting to know that person, you might find something a little bit special in that person. People uh, judge Staffordshire Bull Terrier Bulldogs. Um, any sort of dog, you, you judge it by the look. You might not like the look of that dog. I mean, I love little Staffies, but people look at them and they get judged because what they are, what they've heard about, what they've been told about them. I mean, judge him. Hey. How would you say he is? Ace, have a look. Look. He hasn't got a bad bone in his body, this dog. But did you judge him? The look of him? I've made a few friends doing YouTube. Um, I don't mean people who, who I know in my everyday to day life. I mean people from and who do YouTube and I've made a few friends that way and they haven't judged me because they've got to know me through YouTube so if you want to know me watch me hit that subscribe button but the main thing is about this video is I'm sick to death people judging me because the way I am, my accent, my bald head, my character. But if you watch the videos, judge me on them. Well don't judge me on them, some of them are daft. But no, you can see where I'm coming from. You've got to get to know that person before you can judge them. There's a person who I know, obviously I'm not going to mention anybody's names on here, but nobody used to speak to him. No one. And then I took him for who he was and I got on with him. I didn't judge him. And then all of a sudden I've said he's alright him. Nice lad. They've started talking to him. They've turned around and said, he's all right, Tim. I didn't realise he was like that. It's because
because you judged him before you knew him. So, before you judge somebody, just try it. Before you judge somebody, give them a chance to prove who they are first instead of assuming what they're like, who they're like. At the beginning of this video you've seen a few pictures and a few quotes of different people, even the vicar. If he didn't have his collar on, would you have judged him any different? The girl, would you have judged her any different? Goths, that's their style, that's their character, and that's them making themselves be an individual. They're not doing anybody any harm, they're just being who they want to be. Life's too short to be judgment judgmental against anybody. So life's too short to be judgmental against anybody. Give people a chance, don't judge them, get to know them before you can say anything about them. I'm judged at work by a couple of people, but you know what, it all ends in, you don't know me, know me, you've never got to know me, and I don't think they ever will, but I'd give anybody my last. to a certain degree <laughs> but no just have a go at trying to not judge people on their appearance the looks the accents the style the character just get to know that person they might have uh, problems at home behind that face we all have We've just got our ways of dealing with things. So, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Might have been a little bit morbid today, but it's one of them things. So, bye for now. See you all soon.